the people involved, all the people on these teams were so eclectic and had such interesting and varied ways of living and things that they were into and skills and you know, origins. It was just fascinating and really fun. You go back prior to Star Wars, it's always B movies. Therefore, it was $1.98 to do effects. I actually started Blade Runner in my garage. I had a rental house in Westchester and was building prototypes of the spinner interiors in my garage. What, what, what they used to love a dog and pony show back in the day is they used to come love to come to the model shop because the model shop was tactile, the model shop was fun. The model shop you could play with wires and gizmos and spaceships and guns and lasers and, and, and all kinds of cool stuff. And people loved that. One of the things I used to um, emphasize in meetings with the model shop that there was the fun factor. You know, we put it in big letters. I almost felt like it was our job to repair the stuff as fast as the stage guys could break it. The CGI helped make it easier to shoot models uh, on one hand, but on the other hand, it took the models away. The, the miniature work, it's not that it's not viable, it's not that it doesn't work, it doesn't look good, it's that it's just people don't know how to do it anymore. It's sort of gone into forced, I like to say it's forced obsolescence. The uh, study models that were done for Tintin, I think are in the Hergé Museum in Belgium. So I'm glad somebody saved them. Most of the time, I think they just throw them out. A miniature done right looks real. That uh, sums it up, I think. You know, I said, this is crazy. This is the, this is a job for me. <laughs>